A very good morning to you as we continue in Isaiah 30 verse 15. Our heading, how do we get to God? If you were to come back to God, having somehow got rid of your sins by your own efforts, you would come self-righteously and boastfully. But the right way to get back to Him is the way the prodigal took when the first words he uttered were these, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and am no more worthy to be called your son. Firstly, come back to God with the full confession of your sin. Sin against the law, sin against this gospel, against the light, a sin of ignorance, sin against himself, the son, sin against the Holy Spirit. Come back to God, laden with your guilt and full of woe, and confess all before Him through Jesus Christ His Son. And forgiveness shall be yours, for it is written in His word, He that covets his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confesses and forsake them shall have mercy. And then secondly, the salvation which Jesus gives is salvation from unbelief, salvation from a seared conscience, from pride, from malice, from envy, from every evil of every kind. Which of these sins do you wish to keep? Is there one so fair that you has to desire to spare it? Come on, brother, let us take these sins of yours. Let's take your sins one by one, and let us ask the Lord to lend us the sword of divine justice. Let us slay them and hang them before the Lord, for they are accursed things. Be not of tender hearted concerning any one of them. Put the sword to the throat of every sin. Though each one should be like a prince, yet slay it and hang it upon the cross. An application. Listen. It was my sins, my dearest Lord, hung on the cursed tree and groaned away a dying life for thee, my soul, for thee. Oh, how I hate those lusts of mine that crucified my God, those sins that pierced and nailed his flesh. Fast to the fatal whip, Yes, my Redeemer, they shall die, my heart is so decreed, nor will I spare the guilty things that made my Saviour to bleed. And I pray, O oh, oh, Heavenly Father, grant us, reveal to us everything that is opposed to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.